are we? Uh, we'll have some mild days, probably not as warm as what it was out there today. Upper 70s felt a bit like May. There is the campus of High Point University with blue skies and yeah, just a gorgeous afternoon. Now you see the sun, of course, going down, but it won't be long before daylight saving time begins. It's not this weekend, but the following Sunday, March 12th is when you're going to set your clocks ahead one hour and we'll get a little bit more daylight. But as the sun is going down this evening, you have a good opportunity to check out a couple of planets out there. They're easy to spot looking west in late February and early March. You can see Jupiter and Venus. Venus is the brighter one and you'll look just to the upper left of that and you should be able to find Jupiter. Today we were 77 degrees, not a record that is 79, but definitely above that average high of 57. Still mild at this hour, 62 in Galax, 68 in Martinsville, 72 in Asheboro, and we're in the upper 70s in Fayetteville, Wilmington and Columbia. There's a very weak front that's going to push south. All that's going to do is change the wind direction, make us a little cooler tonight and then also allow for some clouds to kind of form along a stationary front. It is just to our south tomorrow morning, so the clouds will kind of fill in. We'll be in the 40s even through lunchtime. I think it's kind of a slow warm up tomorrow with some cloud cover. It may be late afternoon, early evening before we get those temperatures close to 70 degrees and then we'll push that north. We have a small chance of a shower along that front by late day. Otherwise, it's just some clouds. A nice day, high temperature up to 70 degrees, just won't be quite as sunny. We start off kind of cool, so you'll need jackets. Temps in the mid 40s tomorrow morning, foothills and triad. High temperature in the foothills up to 67 for tomorrow afternoon. It's a comfortable day in the mountains with highs close to 60. Also, a good bit of cloud cover around. Remember that this is, of course, with all the warm air, a problem if you're an allergy sufferer with tree pollen. A tree pollen counts remain high. They'll be high again tomorrow, but they will start to come down just a little bit. Thursday and Friday, and I think that's because the rain chances are going to go up on Thursday and Friday. These are not all day rain days, but these are real good opportunities for wet weather. The first one is the Thursday weather system, which is out over the central plains, and then following up is the biggie that's out west creating the snow and the rain. That one will move in here on Friday. Severe storms ahead of the first one just to our west on Wednesday and into Thursday, kind of building with that second one down over the deep south. We're going to put a chance of thunderstorms in our forecast for Friday. Now, here's a look at early Thursday morning. Pretty soggy, right? I think as we go through the day, we may be able to see at least a lull in some of that precipitation. So not all day on Thursday. On Friday, though, it comes back and we're pretty wet for most of the day Friday, and we do have that chance for thunderstorms too late Friday night as the front comes through. One thing that has changed is I have warmed us up a little bit for Saturday as we may see high temperatures that are in the 60s by then. It's still cooler than this week, but not quite as cool as we'd anticipated. Also think we're going to get some real beneficial rainfall, about a half of an inch to an inch of rain. So the seven day forecast remains the same through Friday. That shift in temperatures on Saturday. We're still going to be in the 30s by Sunday morning and in the 30s on Monday morning as well.